Good morning uh, on Tuesday, the 4th of October. Very, very happy to announce or, or at least give some background to our announcement today on uh, drilling results that we've just put out from our Sunday Creek project in Victoria. The key result is the highest grade hit on the project to date uh, at Rising Sun, where we drilled 2.1 metres at 121.6 grams gold equivalent within a broader zone of 21 and a half metres at 15 grams gold equivalent. That's half an ounce. Key point is that this is a new shoot that is developing. We've drilled it 350 metres away from where predominantly most of our drilling over the last three or four months has taken place on the Apollo shoot that has developed very well. But we took some broader step outs here, um, more gold in a different part of the system. And, and that that is a very important part of the story here, that this system is getting bigger and uh, and it certainly is making us take notice of uh, of this developing system. And, and I encourage you to go deeper into the release and, and some of the diagrams that go with that to understand the real significance of this intersection. You can see here the LIDAR image looking down as if we're looking down from a plane onto the project. This end down here is Golden Dyke, up here is Apollo. You can see the old workings. These were from the 1800s, these northwest pits that are about 20 to 30 metres long. You can see Gladys here, it's about 100 metres long. Some of the old pits, pockmarking of the old uh, placer um, mining from the 18, late 1850s. So if we were to rotate this around, we can see that uh, the old mines start to show themselves. So we're looking to the north now. I'll just uh, remove that topography so it's not as strong. And we can see Golden Dyke here, 180 metres, uh, about six levels there. Across here, there was 20 stopes within 200 metres, so lots of frequency, high grades. This is the, the rising sun area, and here's Apollo down to 100 metres with uh, with a four levels, um, including a little one down there at the bottom. So then if we put, uh, which is most interesting, our drill hole hits, our our lot broader, thicker hits in yellow and our higher grade hits in uh, red. You can see here the drilling that we've done. Now, this is all projected onto one plane. So it's uh, coming from the north and south. But uh, the key point is here, this is the Apollo area out here. There's actually six different shoots in here if we were to look at it in detail. This big red hit here in the middle of the deposit hit project now is, is Rising Sun and, and Hole 46. You can see that's now started to be drilled down over 250 metres. So it's a new area developing, just like this Apollo area. The most prolific mine on the field is Golden Dyke here. And we're just starting to drill under here now. And you can see there's a paucity of drilling, even though there's mining right across the field uh, in all these areas. These holes look like they've tested it, but they, they're drilling actually a long way away from the whole um, area there, as you can see. So... So a fantastic big step out, 350 metres here, highest grades and, and uh, great context for this system to continue to develop. So as, as we know, mineralisation is hosted in one host rock at Sunday Creek. It's a 50 to 100 metre wide zone that strikes approximately east-west. That we call the diorite breccia. And within that zone, there's a series like a stack of cards running northeast across that. And when those northeast structures intersect that host position, they form these high grade shoots that are around about 40 by 40 metres, something like that. Now we have multiple shoots. The Apollo shoot is one. Around the Apollo shoot, there's another five shoots that we're working up developing. Step out 350 metres west. And here we have another shoot developing under Rising Sun. Rising Sun was an old mine, an old shaft on the project. It only went to 45 metres. We've now drilled this chute down to 250 metres and we've only intersected it at single points down the longitudinal axis of that chute, just as we're developing it out and trying to drill it to depth. So you can see that our hit rate is very good. Um, we're able to follow these chutes that form very linear bodies and allow us to target so effectively. The host rock, there's some photos in the press release 
that show lots of visible gold, especially in one intersection where we hit a very high grade, uh, a grade up to 380 grams uh, per tonne over 0.4 metres. Lots of visible gold, uh, like a shotgun uh, <laughs> through, that, uh, through that sample. You can also see this quartz carbonate veining stock working that hosts this mineralization. So a very similar style of mineralization across the field, of course. There's some very high grades of antimony uh, associated with mineralization, but probably what is more important is that very high grade up to 380 grams had a relatively low amount of antimony. And this gives us a, a, a view, I think, of where this project can go. So we see these epizonal systems that's very similar to Fosterville and Costafield, two of the top 10 highest grade gold mines on earth that exist adjacent uh, to this project within a 50 kilometre radius. Those two mines have developed much higher grades of gold and only free gold uh, where we lose the antimony below about 800 metres. But there was indications above 800 metres of these very high grades developing with low antimony in that system. And I think that's what we're seeing here in Sunday Creek, very high grades of gold, visible gold, repeatable, not nuggety, but a very high visible gold uh, with low antimony. And that's a sign of a potential for this project when we get down to the deeper levels that the, these gold rich zones uh, may, may become more numerous. I've said often that uh, that this is not a one hole wonder project and, and we've had to articulate that very strongly after the success of hole 33 at Apollo where we hit 119.4 metres at 3.9 grams per tonne. I think this uh, result shows that this project is not a single shoot project. It's a multiple shoot project. We think that we can see seven or eight shoots already across an 800 metre strike. Um, remembering the system continues for 10 kilometres with old mines without a drill hole. But this is a very significant result. Not only is it the highest grade uh, that we've seen to date, but it's developing in a new area 350 metres west. So the system's developing. It's developing strongly over a much larger area, which, of course, plays to the significance of building up more tonnes at very good grades over much larger areas. Technical people who look at this result will really understand the significance uh, that, hey, you know, this is not just one shoot developing, they're developing multiple, it's developing very high grades across the, the area. And, um, you yeah, know, I think it's a, a very key moment for the project. Now, remember that we've got two rigs drilling and we're seeking more rigs. Um, we know we've got a very key discovery here in the Victorian gold fields and here in Australia that will continue to grow um, with uh, with more drilling is, is our aim, of course. So, so we've got two rigs turning all the time here on the project. We've got four holes that are now in the lab or being geologically processed. We've got another two holes in progress. So there's going to be always, as I say, this continuous news flow coming through. So we're now stepping out. We're drilling under the Golden Dyke area for the first time, which is another 250 metres west of Rising Sun. Uh, and, and we're drilling under Rising Sun. So we're now going uh, to deeper levels at, at the Rising Sun chute down to about 300 metres vertically. And notwithstanding, we're still drilling more at, at Apollo, of course, where, where we've got an, a five to six shoots that have developed within about a 300 metre strike range there. So a, a lot more drilling to be done. As you can see, uh, we're, we're very excited about this result. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a fantastic result. So I thank you for watching uh, this, this video explanation of our release today. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to our website, southerncrossgold.com.au, and we put out very regular updates between news releases and, and inf information. We invite people to come to site to visit. It's, uh, it's only an hour or so to the north of Melbourne, so quite an accessible project. So thank you once again. Keep your eyes on drill results. There's a lot more holes to come as this project continues to develop and, and really put its mark on the renaissance of the Victorian gold fields.